Hello fellow flashers, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to create a lovely animated twinkling star field in the simplest way possible that works for Flash CS3, CS4, CS5, any action script version you like. You can download and reference my files free by clicking the link in this video's description area. So let's rock and roll. Now the first thing we want to do is get our star field on stage in Flash and ready to go. So here I am in Fireworks CS4 and you can use any graphics program that you want to make your star field image or you can get one online from a stock image facility. Press Control C. Now let's go into Flash. Let's create a new ActionScript 3 or ActionScript 2 file. It doesn't matter because ActionScript is not going to be involved. So I'm just going to use ActionScript 3. I'm going to make my stage the same dimensions as my star field. So it's 400 by 400 happens to be the size of my star field. I'm going to get the frame rate up to 30. Now I'm just going to press control V. It's going to bring it in as a movie clip. And there it is. I'm just going to set it at X coordinates 0, Y coordinates 0 to fit it in the stage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this layer star field then I'm going to right click this movie clip and convert to symbol I'm going to call it whole star field inside of my library that'll be the name okay I would do it this way in case you happen to be working in a full flash website where your stage is a lot bigger than your star field then you can simply mask the star field once you get done creating it you can just mask that movie clip so what I'm going to do is go and double click inside layer one I'm going to name it stars I'm going to create a new layer above it I'm going to call it twinkle twinkle clip So I'm going to lay out a series of oval primitives. So you can click down on the shapes tool and grab the oval primitive out. Hold down shift and draw a nice perf perfectly circular oval primitive to the stage. And if yours just happens to be an edge and not a fill, all you have to do is manipulate, grab those little circles in there and you can manipulate the fill in it. For instance, yours might look like this to where you can't put a fill in it or it seems like you can't put a fill in it all you have to do is grab it and move that circle to the middle and it'll fill it for you okay so we don't need an edge so let's get rid of that edge and let's make this I don't know maybe three pixels by three pixels you can really make it any size you want so what I'm gonna do is make a series of these. I'm just going to press Control C, Control Shift V. I'm going to move them around and put them into random spots. And then I'm going to grab both of those together. Control C, Control Shift V. Move it over a bit. Move it down a bit. Then let's grab all of these. Control C, Control Shift V. And I'm going to continue this process. Control C, Control Shift V, until I get a nice area filled with all these little dots. Okay, so after getting all of my little dots in place, I'm going to go ahead and lock the stars layer. And on stage, I'm going to press Control A, and I'm going to see how wide this is. So it came out to be 481 wide, and my star field is 400 wide. So that's just about right. It's a little bit wider than my star field and that's what I wanted. With everything highlighted on this layer you can just press control A, right click any one of those, convert to symbol and call it twinkle clip. Okay so this is a movie clip that we named twinkle clip in the library. Now what I'm gonna do is grab it and put it on top of my star field right about there. Now to get the whole thing animated, all I have to do is bring the frames out to maybe 100. So I'm going to go out to frame 100 and press F6 to make a new keyframe on the twinkle clip layer. 
and on the stars layer I'm going to press F5 just to extend out that image. Now I'm going to right click right here and create motion tween. Now with the motion tween set in place all I have to do is move from the starting position of that clip to the ending position on frame 100 just move it over a little bit. So let's highlight it and take your, your arrow keys and move it over just a little bit. You can see how it starts to twinkle everything. It doesn't even have to be moved over much at all. Now let's press control enter. And you see there? It makes a nice twinkling effect. And people really can't see what's going on and how you have that those black dots animated over it since everything is so finely since everything is so small and fine. But it gives it a nice twinkling effect. And if it's moving too fast for you, you can just move this to where it's not moving so much. Put it right about there. And it'll slow everything down. Or you can just bring this out to extend more frames so the animation moves slower. See? So now it's got a nice slow twinkling effect so it looks like it's more randomized and the same stars aren't always twinkling. But it makes your star field come to life. So that's how it's done. And this uh, FLA file, all the source and everything will be available free for download from developphp.com in the Flash video tutorial section where all the other free FLA files are. And we'll see you in the next lesson.